Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tiny little thrift haul. It's not very big at all. In the last week, I haven't been able to go thrifting very much. Life has just gotten really busy and I feel like the next few months are gonna be kind of chaotic. So I'm gonna be like proud of myself if I can even get a video. Here we are, this is life right now. Just lots of different things going on, so I apologize. But I still managed to go thrifting this week and I got a couple of really awesome things. Some new to me brands, some oldies but goodies, and some things I didn't even know that these companies made. Oh, and I found one really cool vintage item that I'm excited to share. And I also wanted to show you all my wedding shoes, which I got off Poshmark. I had such a hard time finding cute wedding shoes. And I actually got these a while, but since this haul is so tiny, I figured I'd share them with you all today. But uh, yeah, so that is it for this week. May turned out to be a pretty darn good month for me. It was actually my second best month of the year, which I feel like I complained a lot in the beginning of the month, but things really picked up the week before Memorial Day, which tends to happen to me a lot. I feel like I've noticed over the past few years is right before Memorial Day, everyone's shopping, getting stuff for the long weekend, and then it kind of dies down. Right now, it is so slow for me. I made one sale all weekend, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep taking pictures. I'm gonna keep listing. The show must go on. This week on Poshmark was so weird. Like I ended up getting two canceled offers before I could even accept them, which never happens to me. So the fact that it happened twice in one day, I was like, are you kidding me? And then I had a case opened against me, which really sucks. I'm still waiting to see what Poshmark decides. I disagree with the case and I don't always disagree with every case. I will take a return if I think it's warranted, but this one I'm not agreeing with. We'll see what happens. I will remain professional. And then I got a couple of low ball offers from resellers and that was a little offensive. I was like, really? Do you like it when people offer you that low on your stuff? It was like 70% or less off what I had listed it for. Anyway, I'm clearly bitter. People will continue to buy things with the economy being kind of unstable. I have a feeling secondhand fashion is gonna blow up. I'm not an expert. Those are just my opinions. So I'm gonna show you all what I got this week and then I'm gonna share with you my best sale of the week as well. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And I just kind of do this for fun, but I also make pretty darn good money doing it. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. I'm just gonna start off with the wedding shoes because I feel like that's the most exciting. These are a pair of shoots. Never bought these shoes before, but they sell them on like Revolve. I think I've seen them at Nordstrom too, Neiman Marcus. They're like kind of, they're not like high end, but they're more expensive than like your everyday shoe, I guess. I didn't really like the traditional wedding shoes a whole lot. I wanted something with a thicker heel. So I ended up going with these. I have my wedding dress fitting this Thursday. So I guess I'll really find out if I like these or if they're gonna end up being a bachelorette party shoe or whatever. But these were brand new. She had never worn them before. They were size seven and a half. I got these for a really good deal. I got these for $55. So honestly, even if they don't work out and I'm like, I hate them, they don't match my dress. I can still post them and either just make my money back or maybe even make a profit, who knows, but they're so cute. And if you're wondering, the style is called the Nicol Nikolai. There it is, if you would like to purchase these shoes as well, but so cute and they're very, very comfortable. There's no way in hell you would catch me dancing in stilettos all night. Like, no, we need a block heel. So <laughs> these are perfect and so cute. But if you're a reseller and you come across this brand, definitely research it because it does resell for a pretty decent amount. So I was actually pretty picky this week with what I bought. I ended up putting a lot of stuff back because I do have quite a bit in my death pile still. So it's not like I'm desperate for inventory. So yeah, I was a little bit more particular. I went back and forth hard on these shoes. They're a pair of black, leather Taos shoes. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They just lace up and they look brand new. I don't think these have ever been worn. Unfortunately, whoever wrote the price on them got a little bit of Sharpie right there. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that off without damaging the leather. I really wish Goodwill didn't do that. I know why they don't want price switchers or whatever, but it's really annoying. This should come right off with nail polish remover though, so I'm not too concerned about that, but 
we'll figure it out. Yeah, the comps on these looked really good. They were anywhere from like 50 to $75. I had never seen this brand before, but the reason why I decided to look it up is because it just looked like there was a lot of detail put into it with the logo right there, right there. And then again, along the metal right there, it just seemed like there was a lot of care put into it rather than, or I should say right there, rather than just like a pair of random shoes that you'd find. So um, definitely worth looking up. I think these originally retail for like over a hundred dollars. So they're pretty cool. I'm excited to get those listed. There were a lot of outdoor brands selling at Goodwill this week. Uh, outdoor is doing really well for me right now, but so is like exercise type clothing. So I found this noble tie dye tank and I, I usually hate going through the tank tops, but this time it actually paid off. And the reason why I don't like going through tank tops is because usually they don't sell for as much or they're really worn out, but these ones were in great condition. I had seen that Noble makes clothes, but I had never actually found them. Now they're shoes. If you ever find their tennis shoes, buy it. <laughs> I found a pair and they sold so fast and they were in like okay condition. So definitely worth picking up. This is a size extra small. And y'all, somehow this made it to discount day. Purple tags were 30% off. So it was $4 plus 30% off of that. So not a bad deal at all. No idea how that made it that long. And then this one was another Noble tank, same brand, same size, probably came from the same person. They decided they didn't want it anymore. $3.99 got that. Those were reselling for like $20 to $25. I think it'll do well though because Noble is a popular brand. Next, I was so excited to find this because I personally love wearing this and I feel like it's very popular, but they're Beyond Yoga leggings. This was a size large and they're kind of like this tannish pinkish color with the logo right here. I find this brand actually quite often and I pass up on it because the older styles don't do as well. Uh, but the space dye type of material, like if you touch it, you know, it's almost like suede or like buttery soft, but yeah, this stuff does well. This was $4.99 and it somehow managed to make it to half off day. I paid $2.50 for these leggings, crazy. And I'm thinking I'll probably get like 30 to 40 for these, maybe more, I'm not sure. I'm, I haven't looked it up too much, but it just kind of has some like discoloration. So I need to wash it and then we'll see how much I can get for it after that. But I have sold Beyond Yoga biker shorts in less than a week for like 40 bucks. So I have no doubts that these leggings will go quickly. Okay, moving on to Plato's Closet. I actually found a lot of stuff at Plato's Closet that I ended up putting back. Uh, two of the items specifically were aloe leggings. They were $11, but after researching the comps, it didn't seem like it was worth it. So I put them back, but I ended up with this Wilfred top, which honestly is so freaking cute. I kind of want this. I might wear it once or twice before I sell it, especially for Nashville. This would be so cute for 4th of July. Okay, I think I have to keep this now. <laughs> Wilfred is one of my personal favorite brands. It's a brand that sold at Aritzia. And honestly, the comps for this were not that great. This, I bought this for $13 knowing that I would probably wear it a few times before selling it. So it was worth it for me to pick it up. But if I didn't think I was gonna wear this myself, I don't know that I would have picked this up because it looked like the comps for this were like 25 to $30, which was not amazing, especially if you're paying $13. But you know, I couldn't say no. It was really cute. I just love the little, puff sleeves and the buttons. This with like a high-waisted skirt, so cute. Okay, last but not least this week, I got this pair of Levi's and I don't normally pick up Levi's, but these were $16. And the thing that really stood out to me was that they had the orange tab. And not only did they have the orange tab, I don't know if you can see that, but they have the orange tab with the big E. Some of these Levi's with the orange tab and the big E are going for like $175, which is nuts. I think I'll probably get 90 for this. This is the 606 in a size 29 waist, 34 length. This was for some reason in the women's section, but these are definitely men's. Um, and because I don't think that they put the length on there for women, but this is black 
over dye. I kept the receipts just in case I have to return it. So we'll see about these jeans, if they're the real deal and if they actually are the ones that are vintage with the big E, then they go for anywhere from 75 to $175. Okay, so that is everything I bought this week. Like I said, it's a pretty small haul. Let's get into the best sale of the week. So the best sale that I had this week was this M.M. LaFleur dress. I shared it in a haul very recently, like within the last month or so. I was shocked that this sold before the Love Shack fancy dress that I bought in the exact same haul. I got an offer for this for $63 and I ended up getting $50.40 after Poshmark fees. I think I spent anywhere between like seven to $10 on this dress. So really good profit. And I really enjoy selling M.M. LaFleur. Some of their stuff sits. But the two things that I've sold really fast for me so far were their dresses and their shirts. Their pants don't seem to do as well, so that's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, that sold on Poshmark very, very fast. It took me a long time to list it too, so I think it ended up selling within like two weeks. So if you come across M.M. LaFleur, definitely check it out great resale value. Right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.